Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Muna and in this video, we'll be looking at saving SharePoint's modern site as a template. It is known that Microsoft no longer supports saving a SharePoint online modern site as a template. However, there's a workaround which we'll be looking into. I would like to give a disclaimer that the step carried out in this video might not longer be available as of the time you might be watching, but it is worth giving a try. So let's get started. I have this particular SharePoint site that I want us to carry out the step on. But before we proceed, the first important thing we need to make sure is to enable custom script on the site so we can do that from the SharePoint admin center or using PowerShell command. I'll be showing you how to do that from the SharePoint admin center. We'll just come to the main SharePoint admin center. We'll click on settings and at the bottom of the settings page, we'll see classic settings page. That will open a new tab, which would display as such. So all we just need to do is scroll down to where we have custom script and enable this option, allow users to run script and then click on OK. However, I will be using PowerShell command and I already have the SharePoint online management shell installed on my computer. However, you can still use the regular Windows um, PowerShell tool. So because I already have this, I don't need to run the install module. I'll just proceed to connect to the SharePoint admin center using this command. So this will prompt me to log in as the admin, get this URL from your SharePoint admin center. So all you just need to do is come back to your SharePoint admin center and then copy this URL and add it to the command. So I just click on enter. This will prompt me to log in as an administrator and I will put in my admin credentials to sign in. I'm connected now to my tenant SharePoint admin center. Now the command for us to run to enable custom scripting is as such. I will be adding all this command on the video description. So that way it's easy for you to just copy and run them. Now for me to run this command, I need to add my site URL to this command. So all I just need to do is edit this where we have URL. And then I go to my site, which is this particular designer site that we are trying to save as a template, include the URL here, and then I run the command by clicking on enter. So just wait for this to run. Right. Now, the next step we need to do is come to the site. So all we just do is come here and add this. So if you notice, it has this added. I'm going to also be adding this in the description so it's easy for you to just copy from there. So once I do this, I'm just going to click on enter. This will load up the page where it's going to ask me to save the site as a template. So I just need to do is give that particular um, file template a name. So I'm going to say designer temp or let's say designer site template, something like this. I can also copy this and paste it here and also paste it there. I'm going to include the content of the site. And once I do that, I'm just going to click on OK. Just wait for this to what, do its magic. Once it's done, then we'll proceed. Okay, cool. Voila. So the operation is completed. So now what we need to do is we'll have to click on the solution gallery option. So I'm just going to open this on a new tab. So we do not close this window. Good. So here is the solution galaxy page and this is our site saved as a template. Click on it to download. So this should download the template for next thing we have to do is we'll have to go back to our SharePoint admin center. We click on 
active site to create the site. Now let's pay attention to how we're going to create the site. So we click on create a site and then we are going to select browse more sites and on this drop down choose a template we're going to choose more templates so this will load up on a new tab on the browser we just come to this tab allow it to load just a few minutes okay cool so now it has opened up a page for us to create a new site so we can do um, app designers and we can give it the name app designers as the url for the site and let's ensure we click on custom this might not respond on time but let's re-ensure that we click on custom before we click on ok so on this um, session of administrator i'm going to add my email address as an administrator then we'll do check name and allow that to confirm that it has recognized my name as my email address as an administrator. As you can see now it's showing as uh, the custom option and then we'll just wait. So there was an error, let's remove the space and then let's try again. We'll just click on check name. Okay, cool. So that is um, recognized. We are on custom. We can um, decide to note the name and the URL in case this is not showing immediately on the active sites so once we're done we just click on ok this can take some time for it to create because we're creating a site so we just wait for this to load once done we should be able to see the site in active sites okay cool so site created we should see the sites listed in active site if it's not listed all we just need to do is do a quick refresh again and we should be able to see the sites one more refresh Okay, and now we have the sites listed. So what we just need to do now um, before we can proceed with the site is we'll have to enable custom scripts on this new site that we have created. So we we'll go back to our PowerShell. We um, try to run the command on the site. So all we just need to do is edit the site on the command and then add our new site. So since I know the name, I'm just going to add app. We can also reconfirm that from the admin center. So sites app designers, and then we just run the command on it. We just allow that to load. Okay, good. So now we can come back to the active site. We click on the site URL. This should take us to where we can import the site. So all we just need to do is click on solution gallery. Once we click on Solution Gallery, it will want us to import the templates we downloaded. So we'll just come to Upload Solutions. We choose the downloaded templates and we click on Open. We click on OK. We allow that to load. Then we activate. So we just click on Activate to activate the template. And this is it. Go back to the active um, site on the SharePoint Admin Center and we click on View Site again. So once we click on View Site, they should open this window. We come to Custom. We should see our template listed and we just click on OK. So once we click on OK, it would take a while to use the template to create the site. So we just wait for this to load up. Okay, cool. So we, the site has been created. In case yours 
um, took some time to load up this page it is completely fine as long as you didn't get any error it's going to take some time to um, load up this page but once it's done loading this is the next page you should see then we'll allow it to use existing group and I click on OK once I click on OK this should also load up and have my um, site ready with the same template as my designer site so as you can see the URL shows app designer with a template of my design site so I'm um, just to reconf just to show you I think we have this here so I'm just going to click on OK here to go back to the designer site as you can see it's every it's the same the image the calendar event the document library the news the activity same as my app designer and that is it so this is how you save a SharePoint site as a template I hope you find this useful and do not forget to like subscribe and share thank you bye see you in my next video